Welcome to part 2 of Undertale Genocide Edition. I apologize if the audio in part 1 wasn't so great. Um, I had been experimenting with open broadcaster software and was having problems with just getting to capture Undertale, let alone the issues with the audio and the echoing I was having. Uh, so for part 2, and, for, and hopefully not subsequent parts, though I wouldn't rule it out, I'll be experimenting with the audio some more, so it's a bit better. Oh, and I apologise again because we're not going to Tutorial's house. We haven't finished our business in the rooms. The main requirement for genocide is that you kill everyone, and... There's only one way that when I get to do that, we got to grind. Like this was a normal RPG. Oh, one of the frogs has gone missing. Unfortunately, we can't have to get a fight with those two there. Or anyone that would seem. Aha! Gotcha! I guess we're just going through the zones too quickly. So, to ensure. There's one very specific way we'll know when we've killed everyone within. The ruins here. Now, um, I'll throw it up to player. I'll, I'll throw it up to viewer vote next time. But I'm going to cut out the grind here, and I'll pick you guys back up when I'm finished with my little slaughter. I mean, all you're going to see me here is walk around for about five, ten minutes and press Z. Just the action button. In case you didn't know. So yeah, this is going to be my view for the next times. I'll catch you guys after that. I'll save you some boredom. See you in a bit. Welcome back. I think we succeeded. There's no more monsters. Nobody came. The music has gone decidedly muted. Darker. We've done a good job here. Cleaned it up of all those filthy nuisances. Oh, now you keep popping up. I was getting a current I wasn't getting a counter as frequently as that, when they were still breathing. Yeah! Determination. Oh, oh, hello. Ah, nice music again. A butterscotch cinnamon pie? I'm not surprised at all. Stuck. Yeah. This looks like a nice place, doesn't it? The one and only. Alright, so this. I guess that's one tutorial's room. Ok, 
Okay, apparently Shora likes bad jokes, which for some reason might be reason enough to kill her. Um, red pegs. Interesting. Curious or incurious? Of course, we wouldn't use fire magic over our stove. That's not creepy at all. Yeah, why not? We need to rest up for our next um, our next round of slaughter. Hmm. Feel like I've not been the only kid to come by here. Maybe she kills them. Who knows? If this pie is poisoned. seem like her type of um her brand of violence. Oh. Mom I wanna play downstairs Bugger off I'm a dangerous person, I can handle it. <sighs> Alright Fine. You so worried about me getting a draft? Uh, getting a draft, getting a cold? Then I'll sit right here. No, it really doesn't come as a surprise. You're bad at surprises. Yeah, thank you. You're not completely oblivious. Back. Wait, what the fuck's happening with this sprite up there? Her lips just got into hyperdrive. Also, focus on dialogue. Didn't... The hell? Alright, something's off here. And it's not just me. What you doing? That'd be a good idea. Well, that's not going to happen. A rebel, we established this. And this is why genocide is one of the many reasons why genocide is difficult. Because you might actually care for the characters, I and mean, what have they done to you, really? At least in Toriel's case, what has she ever done to you? It's a real shame she opened herself up to that. So here comes the first boss, the tutorial. 
Ah. Oh, I forgot to mention in part one, there's this axe menu. It's highly irrelevant unless you plan to kill everyone. Okay, that's what we'll jump from the water and ruins. Oh, and we are finally getting some real attacks. Holy shit! God damn it. Genocide has begun true and proper. With an agonizingly long walk to make you reflect on what you've just done, you heartless bastard, Rocky. Oh, there's that little shit stain of a flower. Sounds like a good plan, matey. Just piss off that tutorial face. That's a wonderful idea. And uh, if because of the audio that I'm still trying to figure out, you didn't hear what you just said there. I've just said something aloud. Just said, "Hmm, that's a wonderful idea." Welcome to Undertale once more. Game begins properly now. Wrap it up at the next save point. For now it seems we've been plunged into a cold and um, oppressive forest with voyeurs. Lovely. Good times. Ooh. And it just broke. Oh, I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure we're not being stopped by the voyeur. Who could this be? Ah, uh, damn it. We've got another Joker in our hands. <laughs> also note that his font is different. It's, yep, Comic Sans. <sighs> it's a good joke the first time, really. Uh, 
and you can damn well expect what font Papyrus is going to be speaking in. Ooh, sounds like we're running into trouble with them. Papyrus! And I'm biting my lip to not ad lib the voices. Nobody deserves that kind of torture though, so I'm going to be quiet. Nope. Um. <laughs> yeah, this is a little bit different from the normal runs. A lot of differences become apparent. Uh. Usually, this is good comic relief after the tutorial debacle. And now, though, it's kind of awkward. Music sounds awkward as well. That's gonna be a pattern. Good way to know we're on the right track when the music sounds disturbed. We also get a handy kill counter. <sighs> Once the game knows we're serious about what we're doing. For the person who has uh made this arrangement with me. Fuck you. Ah. Anyway, we'll stop here and we'll continue part 3 and hopefully the audio is better. It's the only thing that will get better in this run. Till then, see ya.